Welcome to IBC 2025. This year we bring together our global media, technology and entertainment clients showcasing their groundbreaking innovations right here in Amsterdam. Well, day three and I'm with Bernie from Marshall. Bernie, how are you doing? Well, just fine, thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. How's the show going so far for you? Well, IBC 2025 has been a real winner so far. Okay, um, why? Well, it's been well attended, all things considering, when you look at the economy and Ukraine and everything that's going on. It's amazing we brought this many people into one place. Yeah, it's wonderful to see, and you can't beat that kind of in-person communication that you get from an event like this. Yeah, it's great. We have our customers come in here and they tell us how they're using our cameras, what they like, what they would like to see, and that helps us make our equipment even better because we can sometimes do what they want. Exactly, it's all about finding solutions it at is. the end of the day. So give me an idea about Marshall, what do you do and where are you positioned within the market? So Marshall Electronics is a distribution uh, company in the a professional AV in the broadcast world. And our core products are LCD racks uh, on the broadcast side and then our small POV cameras on the broadcast side and the uh, ND side. And then we have PTZ cameras that I find in churches and schools and uh, public organizations, stuff like that. So we're broadcast and pro AV all under one roof. Okay, and I want to talk briefly about trends within the industry. It's a really exciting time. Well, what we see trending on our side is AV growing huge. Okay. It's just trending AV. Uh, it's exploding. It's exploding. Every every church, every school, every business operation, every small little group needs a camera to stream yeah. or needs a PTZ for to do their productions. So I see uh, I see everything outside of broadcast yes, and for us growing tremendously. Yeah. So talk to me a bit about that. I see we're standing here beside some products. What are you showcasing this year and how are people reacting to it? At the show, we've introduced a very new concept for a tracking camera. If you look here, you'll see I have two cameras built into one. Yeah. I have a small POV camera in here that has a whole wide scene of what the camera's looking at from side to side, and then I have my tracking camera. Both of these are feeding data into the AI, so the AI can track and frame. And with this new combination, I can set up a number of barriers that the camera will stop and then follow on the tracking client once they get past a certain barrier. So if I had a big, maybe I had graffiti on the wall there, yeah. and, and tracking the client, I don't want that graffiti, I can track the client to here, stop, and as the client reaches there, it'll pick me back up, just like without missing a step. So there's a number of windows and a number of panels we can build where the camera won't go. And is this available now, or right is now. this, okay. Right camera, right? okay, and what are people saying about it? Well, uh, first off, when we introduced tracking cameras, it was like, I don't want to touch a tracking camera. Now everybody wants a tracking camera. They find out how, how elegant they are. You don't have a guy that doesn't know how to pan and tilt or zoom. You have a camera that tracks you, zooms you, frames you. Uh, it takes out the human element, and people are starting to like that. They're realizing they can get more done with a tracking camera than having operators do something. So it's more efficient more efficient less, less people, people less clunky i guess yep one operator can do more yeah and that seems to be the way the industry is going more for isn't less it? more for less yeah, more bang for your buck right, right yeah okay so so this is what you're showcasing anything else that well, you're showcasing so, this year so of course we have our new box cameras we have the new nd3 format we have ip these are uh i see these all the time at entertainment venues where you'll put them in the roof and you'll have them on the X on the ground and when the talent stands on the X, they're in the camera view and they're on the big screen. So you see this at concerts, you see this venues and with the 30X, I can hide this up in the roof, you'll never see it. And people wow. want that for their shows and stuff. This is, I sell these into so many venues worldwide just for the talent on the X. But do you know what's occurring to me? Like, look how small it is. Really, it's so compact. It is, it is. No, no, for what it does, for a 26X, for a 26x zoom lens, it's all optical. There's a circuit board and a few outputs, but it's all optical to get that 27. Hi, clever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't design it, but we've got good designers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm thinking 
Your, your, your new product development team must be hard at it round the clock, yeah. but that's what you've got to do in this industry to stay ahead of the curve. This is what our customers tell us they want. They, they want these sort of cameras for these show venues and stuff. So. so what does the future look like then? Well, you know, we've been talking about that. What does the future look like? How much further can you take a PTZ camera? Do we make it wireless? I mean, do we? We're thinking about a number of different ways to go, but I can't discuss them here. I'm under NDA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I get that. But, but what I see is, you know, it's a combination of things. When we do when we do productions in churches and schools, they'll buy our small POV cameras to get some headshots, to get some room shots. Then they'll use the PTZ cameras to do the blackboard, the trainer, whatever's going on. So I'm seeing in churches and schools a combination of both POV and PTZ cameras in their systems. Well, look, whatever the future holds, good luck with it all, and thanks for your time today. Thank you, Joe, very much.